The second category of access control is called user access management. As the name says, this category will be focused on user accounts and access rights. The first control of this category is called user registration and deregistration. Normally, when a new employee joins a company or an existing employee needs access privileges to a system or service, a new user account has to be registered for him with appropriate access rights. This is all assuming that the employee has been granted the relevant approval. This registration process has to be formalized into a procedure. Certain measures have to exist, such as creating unique user IDs for the employee on the intended specific system, for accounting purposes. When possible, the requested access could be added to an existing user account. In some cases, multiple employees share the same user account, and this could be witnessed in operational environments, where the cost of licenses is very high, and employees perform the same role, but during different shifts. To ensure proper accounting, time stamps of events should be registered, in accordance with the work time sheets. The deregistration process occurs when the access is no longer required. The access rights have to be revoked, and the account suspended or permanently deleted.